Hello everyone, my name is Fan. Today we're gonna make an interesting comparison between two Gibson Les Pauls. A Les Paul Custom Shop 1957 reissue in its original configuration versus a USA Standard 50s with some modifications. So how does a Gibson USA model compare to a Custom Shop model if all the electronics and hardware being upgraded on a USA model? I've been having this question for years, which I believe many of you may have the same question as well. So finally today I got both guitar on my hands, and let's go find out. First of all, let's look at the specs of these two guitars. On the Custom Shop 57 reissue, all the electronics and hardware are stock. A 50s wiring with Gibson Bumblebee paper in oil caps, and two custom buckers with Ionico 3 magnets. While for the standard 50s, I have changed all the electronics and hardware on this guitar, except for the nut and the plastics. I swapped the stock wiring harness to a Jimmy Page Mod 50s wiring harness, which is made by Six String Supplies in UK. This wiring harness has its own branded paper and oil capacitors and four push-pull CTS pods. It does coil splitting, two pickups in serious mode and out of phase which can make 21 different tones in total. However, when all the push-pull parts are not engaged, this is a standard 50s wiring harness. And in this comparison, all push-pull parts are not engaged. For the pickups, I swap the burst bucker 1 and 2 to Sir thumb buckers. So the thumb buckers are Pete Thorn's signature model, which is Sir's take on PAF style pickups. The neck has Alnico 5 magnets, whereas the bridge has Alnico 4. Well, I can't justify whether this is vintage correct enough, but it does have the PAF characteristics, and they sounded very good. For the bridge and tailpiece, I changed them to Faber ABRH bridge and tone lock tailpiece. The bridge posts are also upgraded from the stock Nashville style stainless steel posts to Faber insert brass conversion posts. It is said that these upgrades will improve the sustain and the resonance of the guitar. I have also changed the stock Gibson Deluxe Tuning Machine to a set of Gluson Deluxe Tuners, which is made by Goto Japan and aged by Crazy Parts from Germany. It is said that the different tuners will also affect the tone of the guitar, but I'm not gonna talk more in this video. The strings on both guitars are new sets of GHS Boomers 10 to 46, and I have set the string actions and pickup heights to be the same on both guitars. Just to clarify that this video is not sponsored by anyone, for all the brands and models mentioned in this video, there are also many alternatives on the market, and you can choose depending on your preference. And in this video, I will be using a Marshall Studio Vintage 20W amp with 212 cabinet, mic'd with Shure SM57 into the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. Alright, let's go have a listen.
So after listening to those clips, I believe you already have your answer. However, please do bear in mind that this is not a hundred percent fair comparison, since there are too many variables which I couldn't control, and I also don't have two sets of electronics and hardware which are exactly the same. But hopefully, this video could give a reference point to those guitar players who are struggling to consider whether to get a standard USA model and modify it, or just get a custom shop once and for all. So which guitar do you prefer? Please leave your comments below and please do subscribe if you haven't done so already. I will see you next time.